and I'm not even going to get into all the formalities of a welcome. You already know what this is. This is a review of that RE Backyard Armageddon Battles show last night at LaFontaine Blue. And I'm pretty sure if you haven't already heard about it, I, don't, I really don't even understand. Unless, you know, even if you're not into the go-go scene like that, it's no way you couldn't have heard about this show. At least whether it, it was negative or positive by now. So let me just get into the review. Um, we get there at about 1030 and the parking lot is packed. I mean, the police were not allowing anyone else to come into the parking lot. So we had to decide where we was going to park at. And we ended up parking at the room store across the street. Okay, so then we get out of the car, we walk up to the line. And the first thing I knew when I get up to the line is... <laughs> I was just like, oh my god. What the... I could not believe the amount of people that was waiting in that line. Hold on. I gotta go check my spaghetti news. Turn that off. Alright, so where did I stop at, at the door situation? Okay, so, you know, we already thinking, like, we're not gonna stand in this line. Because it, it was just... I have never, ever, 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 ever been to La Fontaine Blue and seen a line like that. Like that was, that line was just unreal. So we go over to the cut line, and when we go over there, it was probably a good, good 50 people, 50 to 70, 75 people in the cut line when we go over there, and uh, we asked the girl how much it costs to get in the line. And she says, a uh, hundred dollars. <laughs> we were like, what? <laughs> I, I just chuckled in like, in disbelief. Cause I, I just could not believe it. I was like a hundred dollars. I already knew they was going to be up to the swindles. I already knew they was going to be up on the swindles, but I, I just didn't think a uh, hundred dollar swindle was going to be it. Well, I should have known because, I mean, with the VIP tickets were $50. So, I, I guess, you know, I, uh, I don't know. That That's just, that's greedy to me. To charge people a hundred dollars to cut the line. But, I mean, it's nothing new. They've been doing it in go -Go for years. So, anyway... But well, we see somebody we know, and that's how we cut in. Because if we had not seen anybody we knew, we wouldn't have never got in. Because at 10:30 we were already way. I mean, the line was just. Mm -mm. I feel so bad for the people who did not get in. I feel so bad that you had to burn your gas, especially when gas is over four dollars, and don't let you have a car that takes ninety three. I, I mean, I just, it's just horrible that you had to come all the way up there, especially if you had a ticket. But anyway, so after about an hour of finagling my way up to the front, I finally got in. When I got in, I was in and uh, they were cranking. You know, they wasn't slumming or anything like that. But I was just like, I was ready for them to get off the stage, and I was waiting for backyard. I mean, I... I, I could get into it, but I, I don't know. So, what I noticed is that the halftime was kind of long. Um, I don't remember exactly how long it was because my phone died and I couldn't keep track of the time and I couldn't take notes like I needed to. Oh, okay. So, anyway, I think I stopped at the halftime um, part. And like I was saying, halftime was a little long. And I guess, I mean, after I saw the results of it, you know, back I had to re prepare. I guess it was trying to allow um, people to come in or whatever. I don't know. But it was just a little long and 
that's it about that okay so after I have time back y'all comes on and of course I'm pretty sure many of you have seen the pictures now and I'll have some at the end of the video where back y'all comes in with the coffin the sign that said R.I.P. R.E. And it was so cute. Came in with, me with the Grim Reaper attire on. That was that was a really nice touch. I'm, I'm all for the theatricals and showmanship and stuff like that. Um, so they get on. They start doing their thing. Back y'all had a horn section, which is something we haven't seen since what 2000. Um, I don't know, 2000 something, three, two, something like that when they tried the horn section thing or whatever. I mean, they could have had one before that, but I, I don't, I don't really remember that too tough. And um, that was a nice touch. That was different because. I mean, if you think about it, if you know Gogo, if you follow Gogo, and you follow the bands or whatever, you all direct, you already know that Backyard pretty much has the top, one of the top music sections in in Gogo right now. They, to me, in my opinion, they had the best backline of the show, even though I felt like they didn't get a chance to really play, and I'll get into that in a few minutes. So. Um, after, uh, I believe Backyard set was cut short during this first time per year. I'm not sure. But then Essence gets on. At, at this point, it's like the battle moment. And I was pretty much so enwrapped in the environment. Like, I, I was really trying to take everything in. And, and trying to enjoy everything that was going on that I kind of just got caught up in the moment So it's a lot of things that I, I didn't see and it's a it's I'm not gonna say it's a lot of things that I didn't see but it's some things that I wasn't aware of and I I don't know. I was just having a good time I was trying to I wasn't trying to be a reporter. I was trying to be a patron I wanted to enjoy the show as a fan but needless to say um, backyard sound during their rounds was cut off. Now, I really wasn't even trying to get into this, but if I've heard rumors, I've been hearing rumors for years now that when Essence plays with another band, they're tense and that band is out cranking them, there tends to be some power issues or some sound issues and <laughs> I don't know why the power was cut short I've heard different stories and I don't know I, I, I wasn't at the sounds on the sound boards or whatever so I'm not sure I wasn't the one that flicked the switch and I can't even tell you why it happened, but it did happen. It could be a coincidence. It could have been a fluke or it could have been done purposely. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have to decide for yourself or if you know someone who was involved, then you can ask them. But that that was actually rather fluke. Um, once the second time Backyard's Power was um, cut off or whatever you want to call it, at that point, I felt like it was a, it was disrespectful. And I was just like, I mean, what was the point of doing that? To me, it didn't even seem like a battle for real, for real. It didn't really seem like a hits for hits type of thing. And I've been to like the last couple of battles, like that Groovers versus Backyard battle. I mean, the Groovers versus JY battle, and then the JY versus Backyard battle, and then this one in the. The previous two battles, I mean, the format was done differently, and it seemed like it really was truly like a hits for hits type of thing. Whereas this, it was more like Essence featuring Backyard. You know, it, I don't know. It just seemed like Essence show kind of like overpowered what Backyard was trying to achieve. Like they couldn't even really get into. To me, it, they couldn't really even get into anything because it always seemed like something was happening. So, I don't know. I guess, I mean, everybody wants to know who won. And I'm sure most people have probably heard that Essence won. And I don't think so. Like, that last round, let me say this first. 
Essence did crank. And that's not something that I had, that, that I could say about them. These, I mean, with them, I guess I haven't been picking the right shows, but it just seems like, yeah, they've been okay or they just outright just slummed it up for me. And... I was actually impressed this time around because I, I, did, I did think that they did crank. However, like that last round, I was just like, uh, I was ready for them to get off the stage. And I was just like, okay, at any minute now, Backyard's going to play. <laughs> and, well, for the, a lot of time that Backyard did play, I do believe that they won. And I'm not saying that as... You know, somebody who's a fan, I'm saying as, as just judging from the actual, like, come on, how can you lose? You can't lose with Buggy and Sauce. I, I don't care who Essence has. You know what I'm saying? I'm not taking anything away from their percussion section because they have one of the best percussion sections. However, like, Buggy and Sauce... I don't know. And it, the keyboards was rock. I mean, when once they got it going, Backyard was pretty much locked in. The, the one thing that I did, it was something, I can't even remember what it was, but the horn section chimed in, and I was like, ugh. I didn't like that part. But I can't even remember what song that was on because it was, it was so slight. And I did notice, like, people have been talking about RE Sound. They brought the best sound equipment and yada, yada, yada. But if you were standing on the backyard side, especially if you were standing closer to the stage or closer to the bar or the VIP area that they had back there, it was, towards the end, I really couldn't hear Essence like that. Not saying, you know, but I'm just like, eh. <laughs> and I remember hearing somebody saying, uh, I didn't even hear nothing you said over there. So, I mean, I don't know. It's one of those things. It just depends on, um, I guess, your taste in in bands or what you like. Or, you know. But I, I'm pretty sure I'm outnumbered in my opinion. Because I've seen just, like, on Twitter, I just happened to do a random search of the uh, BYB and RE. And it seemed like, you know... Most of the people that were on it, who talked about it on the internet were saying essence, and mm, I just don't agree. They did a good job, but mm, it is what it is. I know that I'm not looking. For, I don't. I don't want to see. This was great for Gogo. -Go. Like I saw people who I didn't even know even went to Go Go's. I see people who I haven't seen since. I graduated from elementary school. Like, I mean, it brought everybody out, and it was such a good atmosphere. It was no violence. It wasn't, you know, no altercations. At least from where I was standing at, from what I could tell, the party never stopped except for when the fire marshal tried to shut the party down. But all, in, I mean, all in all, it was a good party. People are still talking about it today. We've been talking about it. I just check Twitter and people are still talking about it and here it is almost what 24 hours later so good job to you to those guys I'm glad that somebody stepped up and decided to put this show together and I guess it's one for the history books so I guess I'll talk to you guys later peace one last thing um Stay tuned for uh, a feature in my blog. I got blessed a couple of weeks ago um, when Black Alley had their album release party with their uh, latest CD, and I'm actually going to review it. I've been listening to it for a couple of weeks now. I had to give it the computer test and the car test to actually give a full review and I haven't done one of these before but I'm looking forward to it. It should be up on my blog site which is www.tangychronicles.blogspot.com and I'll link that at the end of the video or in the information details so you can go check that out and it I probably have it up by the, um, the end of this week. And so, shout out to them. And, yep, 
that's it for this week.